bone to pick with my next guest. Last time she was here, I tried to get her to spill secrets from her hit show, Scandal. I thought that bribing her with a giant pile of Oreos would do the trick because she loves them, but no, nothing. Well, we all know that the greatest secrets are buried deep down inside, and baby, I am ready to dig. Please welcome Katie Lowe's. <laughs> We wasted I'm sorry. a pile of Oreos. So sorry, this, we don't have a big budget on this show. <laughs> and you said nothing. I know. You said or you ate I them. Know. You Look. Said, yeah. Ugh, okay, but I'm going to make it up to you this time. You have something? Well, okay, I, I don't have any stuff on the plot because we both know Shonda Rhimes. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But I have some juicy behind the scenes okay. info if you're interested. Yes, yes. You interested? Okay. Very interested. So, it better be good. Kerry Washington kicked me off set. Really? Why? Yeah. Well, um, my mother came to visit, and my mother talks like this. And so I was talking to my mother on set, and so I started talking like this, and then Quinn Perkins started talking like this. And Carrie was like, stop! You're talking like your mother. You need to step off set, practice, <laughs> and then come back and be Quinn Perkins. Oh. So that's one. Um, that's not good enough. OK, OK. It's oh. good, but not good enough. All right. Um, I like the mother touch, but it's not good enough. Yeah. I've seen Tony Goldwyn naked. <laughs> and I was impressed. <laughs> yeah. Do tell. Do he, tell. Look at that. Well, oh, he's a beautiful oh, man. Oh, he's yes. a specimen. Uh, yeah. He was in a towel. He was coming into my trailer because we had to discuss something very serious. Oh, sure you did, yeah. I opened the trailer door. His towel dropped in front of me. It was amazing. And then I woke up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. There's nothing to share. I tried, I tried. I'm sure he does look amazing, though, right? I mean, yes, of course he looks I'm amazing. Sure, I'm sure he actually does. All right, what, what surprises me is he is not your celebrity crush. No. You have somebody else in no, mind. I yeah, go yeah. For, um, it's weird because both Tony Golden has a lot of hair and my husband has a lot of hair, but my celebrity crush is actually Patrick Stewart. Oh, why well, he doesn't Patrick have any hair? <laughs> yeah, right. Why him? I mean, he's a handsome guy and he all that. He is. Well, yeah. I, I really had um, my adolescence. I, I came to an age watching Next Generation Star Trek, and I got all those funny first-time feelings watching alien sex on that show. <laughs> well, what? So that your, your sexual Sorry. awakening was Patrick. Patrick. So, so if I put a picture of him up now, oh, what's gonna happen? You tell me what. Oh what my to you. God! What you guys, to you? are you feeling Look something? Oh Do you my feel God! Something? I, you go back to that. I get completely like, I, like I'm being transported, like beam me up, Scotty, to <laughs> my 13 year old self. Like, look at his arms. Look at so those guns. <laughs> Woo! So what is what? I'm just curious. What is foreplay for you? What is um? <laughs> Your husband Adam? Is it Adam? My husband what Adam. What is foreplay yeah. for the two of you then? If yeah. you're like alien sex. Well, we're and... both actors, so yes. there's a lot of role playing. No, I'm kidding. It's very, <laughs> very normal. lovely and yeah. normal, and we've been together nine yeah, years. Yes, so, so and... everything about you is normal, including what you keep in your house when people come to visit? <laughs> Can we share oh, that with the no. audience? Um, yeah. yeah. What do so, you have in your house when people come to visit? You guys, like, so Guillermo yeah. Diaz is one of my best friends. He plays Huck on Scandal. His favorite, oh. his favorite, oh, his favorite holiday is Halloween, and so he always gives me holiday. a holiday uh, Halloween gift. gift and yeah. so he gave me a bat, a dead bat, floating oh. in formaldehyde. A real dead bat? Yeah, oh. that you plug into the wall. Oh my! God. And it's a light. And so I keep it in my um, foyer of my, my house. People come over. It's a great conversation piece. Um, and I you mean, keep it there full time. Yeah, you can't. I mean, Guillermo's one of my closest friends. He's going to come over. I and know, be like, but there's the bat. It's like throwing <laughs> away this like lovely gift someone gave you. <laughs> it's not so lovely, but uh, are your fans as strange as you guys are? Uh, they they're very passionate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yes. Thank you. They can be. Um, very opinionated and yeah. aggressive, but I really, I mean, I really appreciate that because I'm like, yeah, get into this show. We love our job. Keep at it. Tell all your friends. What's the strangest <laughs> experience you've had with a fan or the? 
Well, oh, one time I was in a bathroom and I was in desperate need of a feminine product. Uh -huh. And uh, there was another lovely lady also in the bathroom and I asked her like, would you happen to have one that I can have? Um, and she was digging through her purse and then she realized who it was and she started screaming and she had a tampon in her hand and, <laughs> and she was screaming and crying and we wanted to take pictures together. So some girl has lovely pictures of she and I holding a tampon in the bathroom. <laughs> um, so yeah. <laughs> We couldn't wait, you know? She couldn't wait. Well, before you made it big, you had a lot of jobs, like so many actors. I did. Including Connie Britton's. Yeah, I was her babysitter. Her babysitter, yeah. her nanny, but yeah. that cost a little bit of trouble. Is she not yeah, the most she beautiful? is the most amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm so talented. So, so, talented. so talented. But nannying. Nannying sometimes got in the way of your auditions. Yeah, I would nanny and, and get a call for an audition and, and she and other of my bosses would let me leave and I, and I would show up at these auditions and I would be like covered in like baby poop and vomit and pee and so... Um, you weren't aware of it. Well, I'd be rushing and I would be like, it would be a miracle to get there on time. And I would just look down and I would just be like, oh my gosh, no one's gonna give me a job. So thank you, Shonda Rhimes. Yes, thank you, Shonda Rhimes. Yeah. On behalf of all of us. I'm, not, I'm no longer buying you big Oreos. I'm no longer buying you big ones for you. You may take one little one. One? One. Thank all right, you, one more, because I love you. All thank right, you, I love you so much. Our thanks to Katie Lowe, Scandalous.